Okay, after we have created the two fragments, yeah, we will see the advantage of using fragments. There is a reusability. So, when we click on any item on the list, it will show a dialog fragment of the selected data. So, instead of replacing this fragment, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, uh, my uh, navigation panel somehow freezes, so I must use here. Yeah, instead of uh, replacing the fragments, we will just show it as a dialog fragment. Now, a dialog fragment is a fragment that displays a dialog window. Yeah, uh, you can think it uh, similar to the alert dialog builder, but if alert dialog builder only shows a very simple uh, alert dialog, then we can customize it by using a dialog fragment. How to do that? Simply extend fragment to dialog fragment. Yeah. So in the class event detail fragment, let's do it. Yeah. Change the definition of extending the fragment now into the dialog fragment, and select the first one. Yeah. Android X dot fragment dot app. Now, you don't really need to change anything about this, and I think I will tidy up my code, yeah? I will remove all the to-dos because they are done. Okay, and then, now uh, we must add a following code to make the fragment dialog background transparent. Yeah, if not, then uh, we will get a white background. Yeah, according to our event detail fragment. Yeah, over here we have a white background. Uh, if we don't add this particular code, the yeah, dialog window set background trouble to a transparent color, then we will get something like this. Okay, let's add it. In the event detail fragment, uh, before the inflator, I will call a dialog null dot window null dot set background drawable to be a color drawable of color transparent so basically we stay android uh, i want the background drawable to be transparent for the dialog window Okay, now let's open the event fragment list. We will make some adjustment on the list item click over here. Yeah, now uh, we won't need to do this, yeah, replace, backstack, and commit, but uh, we will simply just show the di dialog. Yeah, detail fragment, show, show it, and we give it some tag. So I will comment these three lines and replace it with the detail fragment detail fragment dot show uh, providing the fragment manager which is in it and tag it anything you want yeah uh, dialog for example and that's all it's easy, right? So if you have created a fragment, then you can reuse it maybe as a dialog fragment. Okay, now I will click ILPC. And as you can see here, it is displayed as a dialog box yeah, instead of uh, replacing the fragment. Of course, I can cancel it anywhere, and this join button is not programmed to do anything. Yeah, that's fine. Now I will click on Maniac. Okay, uh, something like this. For ICF, you will get something like this. Yeah, so this is the advantage of using a fragment. Yeah, you don't really need to code everything by scratch. You can just reuse it. And maybe some some of you wonder, uh, can I just use this uh, event detail fragment like it used to be? Maybe something like this. 
Yeah, let's try it if this still works. Because the type is now different, yeah. Uh, previously, it was a, only a fragment, but now it is actually a dialog. Yeah, see, you can still do it. Sorry, <laughs> you can still do it as in the second exercise. Yeah, or you can do it like we have just done, yeah, by using this dialog or using this fragment as a dialog box. Yeah, and as you can see, we only add one code over here and uh, just modify a little bit code, only three three lines of code to be able to use our fragment as a dialog box. Yeah, so there is one major advantage of using fragments. Now, for your self-exercise, I will challenge you. Yeah, instead of doing a pop-up as a dialog, the detail fragment should appear below the fragment list. Yeah, so you may have to uh, modify your main activity. So you have the second container over here. Yeah, and I will do uh, leave this one as the exercise for yourself. Should you have any questions, as usual, don't be hesitant. Yeah, uh, for Ubaya students, you can ask in the group chat, and for everyone else, you can ask me in the comment section below. Now, again, as usual, for Ubaya students only, you have a CE for the eighth week. Yeah. Please take a screenshot of these files. Yeah, main activity kt, event fragment list kt, and event detail fragment kt. And if possible, please finish the self exercise before submitting this CE. Please submit it to the Google Classroom as usual within the stipulated deadline. Okay. Okay, then that's all for today. Yeah, we have learned quite a lot this week yeah first we uh, learn about null in kotlin how to deal with null yeah we have introduced ourselves with a safe call operator uh, non-null assertion operator elvis operator and the let block then uh, we delved into fragments we created a list fragment and we created a second fragment yeah, uh, replacing the list fragment with the detail fragment. And third, we have demonstrated the advantage of using fragment, which is uh, reusability. Yeah, we displayed our fragment into a uh, dialog fragment. Yeah, only changing a very minimal amount of code, but we don't create a new fragment for our purpose. So that's all for today about fragments yeah thank you for joining me from the start until the very end yeah i hope you are uh, encouraged now to expand your exercise or expand your experience to create uh, more sophisticated android projects yeah, or android applications okay then uh, let's finish for today yeah i will see you again next week Thank you, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and stay healthy. Bye-bye.